coming back home, the South African Medical Association is calling for COVID-19 booster shots for healthcare workers. They say that booster shots will ensure that the continued health of healthcare workers and, of course, uh, reduce transmissions in facilities. So much chairperson, Dr. Anjali Kutsia, joining us live via Zoom. Good to have you, uh, Dr. Kutsia, and good morning to you. Uh, this is not the first time that you have called for these booster shots, particularly for that reason. It will definitely assist healthcare workers. Good morning to you. Good morning and a good morning to all the listeners and viewers out there. Yes, indeed. Um, we know that the Sesonco rollout for healthcare workers started on 17th of February, um, the beginning of this year, with a single dose of Johnson & Johnson vaccines. And um, we thought that that would be, a, would be enough. Um, unfortunately, during our third wave, we saw that although the vaccine effectiveness was 65% in reducing hospitalization, we noticed that a lot of our healthcare workers got sick. And again, um, as they are a scarce source, we cannot afford them to get sick. And that is when um, we started to realize that the protection is not lasting. So subsequent to that, quite a lot of nice articles came onto onto the um, scene um, also stating that you know these vaccines effectiveness is not lasting if we look at a, a, a late uh, or in one of the newest um, articles it says a single dose um, remained largely stable for approximately eight to nine months and then the binding antibodies uh, remain stable for at least six months irrespective of your age group and so they then um, uh, uh, um, or the, the, the recommendation was that you need to get a second dose, a, a booster, mm -hmm. whether you want to call it a booster or a shot, uh, about between 60 and 60, 60 days later or six months. So we are now where we then also um, asked the National Department of Health and Prof. Glenda Gray to start to assist us so that we can open this up under the Sasonke again. And I'm very glad to say that this is happening indeed in the background and the healthcare workers will most probably within the next two weeks, mm. given the green light to proceed with Johnson & Johnson. All right, so that is the timelines we're seeing here, the next two weeks uh, at least, just to give an approximation there. With that being said, I mean, how necessary are these additional jabs for potential COVID-19 variants? So that's, um, it is important. Um, we, we know that currently it is still the um, Delta and Delta, there are um, new variants coming in. Um, but for now, we know that the Pfizer and the Johnson & Johnson and AstraZeneca are quite effective against mild disease as well as against severe disease. In fact, nearly all the vaccines are um, effective against um, severe disease. Um, but again, you need to look at what is important in our country. And as I've said for now, it is important that we get our healthcare workers vaccinated again before a fourth wave. Unfortunately, no one knows when the fourth wave is going to hit us, mm. but we have to be prepared for that. Yeah, and in the meantime, Dr. Kusef, I may just ask you, um, any cases that you're recording affecting healthcare workers directly? I mean, we do get the national picture in terms of, you know, new cases, uh, in terms of deaths, in terms of vaccinations. We also see uh, them per province. But in terms of healthcare workers, the reason we're having this conversation is to keep them protected. What are the stats telling us about those infections? So the stats are um, during the third wave there was um, a, a really a, quite a lot of healthcare workers um, being infected with um, mild disease. Um, quite a few of our prominent doctors, especially specialists, died. Um, unfortunately, some of them didn't want to take the vaccine. That is actually also something that the listeners need to take um, cognizance of. Please, mm. even doctors who refuse to take the vaccine are not excluded from getting severe disease and end up dying. So that, that is um, extremely important. We also know that our natural immunity might not last. And the results suggest that the average um, reinfection risk, risk rises from about 5% at four months after initial infection right. to 50% by 17 months. So immunity is also relatively natural, short-lived.
All right, we leave it there and we appreciate you talking to us this morning, emphasizing uh, the importance of the booster shots, but also for them to be made quite soon for healthcare workers. Thank you so much. Summers, uh, Dr. Angelique Kutsia.